Well, this bitch was running. You all saw it. I, I got no spark at all now. So I think what I'm going to do is try to put a new condenser in there. And I have two condensers that are out of a Chevy truck, like a 72 Chevy or something that are brand new. And uh, they're not here, though. They're at a different location. So the plugs are wet now. I just checked them, and they're wet. So that's a good sign. And uh, maybe the intake manifold wasn't sealed right before or something and it just wasn't sucking any fuel in but uh we crapped out because we lost ignition not because of fuel so again i'm gonna see if i can bring those home tomorrow and maybe we'll rig them up and uh maybe i'll take the points right out clean them up nice put it all back together and uh, we'll see if we can get some spark out of this thing but uh it was running we all saw it. It was running on both cylinders. When I had a spark, it was a really strong spark, too. So we'll see what happens. Well, I took the points box right off the 450 here. And if you look down here, right in this area, you can see that the points aren't even close to lining up with each other. I can't believe that it even had spark at all. So pretty funny if you ask me so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna take the points out completely I'm gonna clean them up real nice I'm gonna put it back together I'm gonna see if we got any spark originally I was thinking well maybe the condenser blew or something there's a little bit of oil on these parts so I'm not sure if there's if this orange part here is a seal on the points plunger if possibly that seal is bad but if you look at how those points are interfacing here you wonder why there's no spark what the heck huh so what we'll do is we'll uh you know take them out we'll clean them up and we'll put it back together and try to have them actually line up the right way and it looks like oh i see what the deal is the actual points are broken it looks like they're melted let's, let's take a closer look yep that's the problem the damn thing is melted. Look at that. So it's melted and it slid back a hair. So it's not in the right position to contact the other points. So why did it melt? That's the question. Is it my hot rod ignition that made it melt? Or is it something else? I really wish I could make an electronic ignition for this engine with a crank trigger. That would be my dream here. But yeah, I got to get a new points now. There's, there's no way around this. I mean, I think I could push it back up into place. But I don't know if it's going to stay. You can see that big glob of booger melted plastic on there. And that's really what the problem is. So, ouch. Well, I got another points box here that was off of another project. So... What I'm actually going to do is take the points out of this one and put them in the points box that go on this red 450. I ordered another set of points, which I don't have yet, but uh, when I get the new set, I'll just put it in the other points box on the parts tractor. So anyways, uh, I'm going to replace this condenser also, and I'm not putting this factory condenser back in. I just have some... A random condenser that's off of a Chevy truck that I'm going to put in there that may be better for my GM ignition than this factory one. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We'll clean up these uh, new points here a little bit also. Although, you know, they're not too bad looking, but we're just going to clean them up a little bit before we put it back together. All right, we've got the points box all together. Got to make sure that copper piece on the top isn't grounding out against anything. That's really important. But uh, so I'm going to bring it over to the machine and mount it on there and we'll adjust our point gap. And then uh, we'll see what happens. Now I got the uh, gravity feed tank hooked up here. Let's see if this thing will run.
nice, nice. It's gonna run, huh? Well, it runs. Runs really good too. I gotta tweak the carb a hair, but uh, so what we're gonna do now is uh, we'll put the blower housing back on. I gotta uh, root some of those wires for the stator a little bit. I should actually check the wires and see if I got voltage coming out of the stator. Uh, we gotta drain the rest of the crap gas out of the old tank and uh, put some fresh gas in there so we don't clog it up with watery ethanol crap again. But, um, yeah, it's going to run, huh? So, basically, the whole time I was trying to start it and it was sucking was because the freaking points were shot. So, yeah, it's awesome, huh? Real cool. I'm very happy with this thing. And if all goes right, I can mow the lawn with it this weekend. It's never seen that kind of business before, so that'll be fun for me. But, uh, happy Onans.